free-range chicken, lobster mac and cheese, and sushi. Not exactly what you'd expect to eat on a plane, but as the now's Mark Stewart takes us inside the United Airlines flight kitchen, showing us just how airlines are hoping to win your business over and your taste buds. It's one of the biggest and busiest kitchens in all of Denver. How many meals do you produce here every day? Um, about 9,000 a day. The meals made here aren't served at a restaurant. They're served in the sky. We've got a, a free-range chicken breast. While some of the staples remain. Some white beans. Many of the major airlines are trying to take their menus to new heights. This is the atmosphere on a jet clipper flight. Delicious food adds to the enjoyment. A taste of the past when fancy meals were part of the lure of flying. This is not the traditional airline steak. From braised short ribs and hoisin sauce to lobster mac and cheese. Lobster and flight's not such a novelty anymore. Not anymore, no. Even curry-rich Indian food is vegetarian. And Japanese cuisine. Who doesn't like sushi, even, even at 35,000 feet? The hope is by offering more interesting food, the airlines can win over valuable business travelers and their expense accounts. To do that, well-known chefs are now planning the in-flight menus. Let's go talk to the guy in Mexico City. Let's go talk to the guy in L.A. Jerry McLaughlin is one of the executive chefs at United Airlines. People are looking for more adventurous food. They're looking for bolder flavors. So when you're in the air, you actually lose some of your taste buds. So to make up for it, this breakfast here has eggs, cheese, but the potatoes are sweet potatoes, and the sausage has an extra spice to it to make up for the taste buds you lose. If you don't have a seat up front, microbrews are the new standard on many of the discount carriers like Southwest and Frontier. And it's not just peanuts and pretzels for sale anymore. Hummus snack packs and brownie brittle are the new norm. The travail has been taken out of travel. While the golden age of air travel may be history, <laughs> food may once again help to fuel the future of flight. At DIA, Mark Stewart, 7 News.